Hey guys, Matt Kloskowski here for Lightroom Killer Tips, and uh, I've got a, uh, a neat little trick for you, or kind of a tip. Could be a tip, could be a trick, depends on how you look at it. Uh, but this one is all about uh, using the folders panel, and one of, the, one of the little tricks that we have inside the folders panel that may make it easier to find different photos. So I'm gonna take a look at an example here. If you're gonna take a look at my, my screen here, and you see I've got the pictures folder open. Inside the pictures folder, is a folder called Mount Hood, because I, I, I took some pictures uh, last time I was in Portland. Uh, just outside of Portland is Mount Hood, so I took some pictures there. So I, honestly, I just set this up for the tutorial. There's just one photo in it to make it a lot faster. But I've got my pictures folder. Inside the pictures folder is something called Mount Hood. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and import that folder. I'm just gonna drag it over the Lightroom icon. It's, it's a quick, easy way to import it. I'm gonna go ahead and import that. And I wanna show you what happens in the folders panel as a result. So if you look over here, down here in my folders panel, you'll see it shows me Mount Hood right here. So that's the folder that I just imported. Well, one of the things that, that I hear a lot when I'm on the road and I'm teaching Lightroom is that sometimes it's a little bit confusing because it is a folder, and it's a folder that comes directly off of your computer's hard drive. So if I were to right click on this folder and go over here and just choose like rename, and I rename it, and I call, I'm gonna call it Mountain Hood 2, I'll hit save, just to show you, take a look over here inside of my, my finder window, Mount Hood 2. So it was actually renamed. It, it, is a, it is a reference to the exact folder that's on your computer. But because of, because of how it looks, sometimes that gets overlooked because you know that, well, it was in a pictures folder and the pictures folder was in another folder. If you want to see all those other folders, all you have to do is just right click. Just right click and it'll say show parent folder. So you click on that. Now it shows me the pictures folder. It shows me the hierarchy. So that's the tip. If you want to see that hierarchy, if the hierarchy helps you, you've got a lot of other folders in there that maybe you need to work with, then you can right click and show parent folder. If I click, if I right click on pictures and I click show parent folder again, now it goes one level up from there. So now it shows me my drive, Matt K. Then it shows that the pictures folder is located inside there and Mount Hood is located yet inside of that one folder. If this ever gets to the point where you want to take away, you can actually take away as well. So let's right click on the pictures folder. And in this case, or let's actually, let's go right click on uh, Matt K because that was the top one. And I can say, hide this parent folder. So it hides it so that it's removed a level. And then if I right click on the pictures folder, I can choose to hide that parent folder and it hides it. And now it's just showing me Mount Hood. It's not changing anything. It's just revealing or not revealing the different hierarchies of the folders that already exist on your computer. But it really just depends on the way that you use Lightroom. I know a lot of people use a folder structure. Um, if you do use that folder structure, this is a good way to get in there and make it easier and almost more logical sometimes to actually be able to see which folders are inside of which. Okay, thanks for stopping by. I'll talk to you again soon.